you. This is so good. You make the best avocado toast. Oh, you're welcome. Thank yeah, you. Thank it's you. this. Yeah, oh, yeah I can't show you. <laughs> you can. Do right. you want to be on the vlog with those? I mean, can you kind of hear? You can't really see. Can you? She's pumping back there. <laughs> We're filming some podcast episodes. Little BTS right now. Yeah. <laughs> what is that stuff? That's everything stuff is good. but the bagel. It's so good. That's oh. what I put on your your uh, yeah. goods. That's tasty. Yeah. Where do you get it? I don't know. My, Trader Joe's. Duh. Yeah. My mom to told me about it, so now it goes on everything. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, this I is it all good. good. Oh my gosh, the mullet's gone. And we have light down here. Let's see that no mullet. Oh, thanks, guy. Oh, is he trying to get up here? Is he gonna I, come? I can take it, brother. <laughs> yeah, we can put it in my car. We'll save you the trip up the driveway. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look at your hair. Ooh. Oh, shit. Well, it's not my neck. I got back from filming the podcast a little bit ago and Nick was working on the lights up the driveway when I got back, so we're gonna go check them out. <laughs> he just called me and he was like, hey, could you bring me a drink? And I'm like, you want me to come see the lights, huh? So um, we're gonna check out the lights. He did it on one side. I think he might have done both actually to see if our electricity would like reach all the way up the driveway or if we have to put another transformer box. So we'll see, but the fact that we, he's doing this himself and we didn't have to pay someone $7,500 to do it is amazing. So let's go make him a drink and let's go check it out. Also wanted to show you guys the cabinets. It's looking really good in here. Really good. Oh my gosh, there's a couple up in here too. That's so exciting. Got the LaCroix, added a little bit of watermelon vodka in it. Oh, oh, oh dang. That looks so pretty. He's still out here in the dark working. It looks so pretty. I cannot believe that it's already like two o'clock almost. The day has just like really gotten by me. I saved my editing for this morning, which I hate. So did all that, it took me forever. I had so many clips to go through. Like last week's vlog was like 30 minutes long. <sighs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so today we're actually, this evening we're going to uh, this, I actually posted this on my Instagram story so maybe you saw it there, but we're going to um, a brewery. They're launching Station 2 beer and part of the proceeds are going to um, the firefighter charity fund, which Nick is the president of. So we're gonna go have fun, check that out. I think he invited quite a few friends too. So that'll be nice. I was really hoping I would have more time between editing my video and getting ready for that, that I could get a workout in and kind of just like leisurely, like I feel like today's Sunday for some reason. I don't really know why, but um, yeah, not so much <laughs> since it's already two, like I pretty much need to like maybe get a quick workout in. Um, comment back to you guys on the new video and then uh, get ready. So we've got some stuff going on with the inside today. Our project manager came over, it's looking really good. Um, and yeah, Nick's finishing up the lighting up the driveway but it looks so freaking good. Like coming home last night after dinner and seeing that was just like so awesome. I'm very impressed with him. We are ready to go to the event. I am bringing a leather jacket because it's gonna be like 52 degrees in a couple hours. And I got my new Vans on. Just got these in the mail. Oh, I need to put lotion on my legs. Um, so hopefully this will keep me warm. I also need to put lipstick on, but my lips are so chapped that I'm gonna wait till we get there. I'm like winded from walking from the bathroom to here. I did get a workout in today though. Hell yeah, I did the Peloton like I showed you guys and then I also did some weights. Um, so let's go, cause I'm already late. <laughs> Here's 
here's what I made. Offered to make this one some breakfast, but he wanted life instead. He could use a little bit of a life. I meant life with you. I wanted that. <laughs> this looks freaking delicious. It is such a gorgeous day. It was like amazing. We are, what are we doing? We're going to Mexico after this. Well, I'm going to stop at UTC. Go to Mexico. Yeah. We're going to go to Perch at UTC. We need to get some like faucets for the um, bar. I'm wearing your favorite robe. Does it make you just want to bone me? Yeah. <laughs> He's all, yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll go to UTC, look at some faucets and whatnot. And then we're going to head down to Mexico for dinner at Caesars. I meant to show you guys we were in Restoration Hardware and we found the couch that we wanted. <clears throat> Karen Swan was telling me that her favorite one is that cloud one, so we were kind of like trying it out and stuff and I totally meant to show you guys, but uh, totally forgot. Um, I did buy some new panties from Victoria's Secret, the no-show, because I don't know if you guys remember me talking about it, but I literally bought a whole thing of these, like the five for 25 and literally threw them in the trash on accident the last time. So <laughs> um, yeah, let's try again. Let's try not to throw these away. It's insane to me, their sizing. Like this is a large, I feel like it should be like a medium. It's kind of weird and I'm offended, but whatever. <laughs> have we, are we gonna have to pay for parking? Or <laughs> we've been here for less than two hours. We are. Um, now we are en route to Mexico. Um, we got our, uh, what are they called? Global entry. So hopefully coming back over won't be forever because I always have to pee in those lines. And now that I've got a 14 inch long baby sitting on my bladder and kicking me in the bladder. Oh shoot, did you bring your laundry? I did. I asked you like five times if you brought it. Shut the fuck. You fucker. <laughs> I'm so gullible. Oh, I had a serious question to ask you guys. I use Ked's no-show socks and they are literally the worst. I, they have come down three times since we have gone to like three different stores in UTC Mall. What are your favorite no-show socks that actually stay up? Like, these are awful. They come down all the time. It's very uncomfortable. So someone told me Lululemon. I don't know if I wanna pay that much for socks, but if they stay up, I will pay almost anything. So let me know in the comments what your favorite no-show socks are that stay up. Please and thank you. So traffic-y getting into Mexico. I mean, I guess it is 5.40, but we're getting hungry. beautiful day outside. I just dropped Lee off at the groomer and um, we're trying to go find some live music tonight, do something. Nick has to go back to work on Sunday. So it's like his last like free night where he can like sleep in the next day. I'm making breakfast right now. 
Nick is finally fixing my shoe. I don't know if you guys remember, but this I think it was actually the back. This was like no longer glued to that. So I'm so excited to have these shoes back. I wear these all the time. Well, I did before they got all fucked up. Taking the pipey for a walk. So pretty, such a pretty day. Is it a pretty day? What do you think? Catching up with some friends on Marco, which I usually listen to while I'm taking her for a walk. Piper, you got an itch? This guy has his house lit up like so rad at night. It looks like Disneyland back there. They installed the fridge today, but they told us the panels aren't gonna be here till April. So we've got Vanna White to show us the fridge. <laughs> I love the uh, fridge decorations. Hey. I think you have to do it slower. <laughs> it, so what's the deal? It opens if you tap it, because it's just something I just learned today. Yeah, you like, it's pushed to open kind of thing. Seems like a handle is just easier. Yeah. Dang, look at that fridge. Pretty crazy, so this fridge is the-, like the, the cribs. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Um, that fridge is like for drinks and this one's gonna be for food. And then we're gonna have a freezer out in the garage. I don't know if I've told you guys that yet, but yeah. So uh, there's so much room for condiments, food. Have you ever had a fridge that was taller than you? Never. <laughs> well, when I was like five. Well. <laughs> we still have that fridge. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, pretty cool. So we'll get the outside panels hopefully soon. We're pretty irritated with the company though because they were supposed to be delivered a week ago. So yeah, pretty bad customer service. It's okay, they have like 50 excuses. It's totally fine, just make up the excuses and lie to us. It just makes <laughs> it way better. Yeah, we were actually talking about that. Like, I don't know if you guys are in the same boat, but like how annoying is it when a company messes up and they can't, they have all these excuses. Like the customer would be just so much happier if they just said, you know what? This situation sucks and it's kind of my fault. Uh, or it's fully my fault and we're gonna do everything we can to make it better. Um, delivery dates are super long and like, I'm really sorry. I know you've been waiting for a really long time. Like this fucking sucks. I, I've made a boo-boo. That would make, I would be so much happier with that. I would actually like not, I would be angry, but I'd still not be like, whatever. But this chick was like making every excuse in the book. She's like, oh, you weren't gonna have the fridge columns next to each other. We're like, that's been the plan since the beginning. Like when we went in there and talked to you. Yeah, you, you tell me what my plan was in the beginning. Yeah, you tell us what our plan was. Drawings of it we showed you. You, you. you tell me what that was, because I always have no idea. Right, so we had a fireplace guy come the other day also. This is just, this fireplace is going to be the death of me. Um, but he came the other day and they do all the demo, they do all the stuff. So he's giving us some quotes and some different things. We're leaning towards an electric one because we can make it pass through to the other room and you can make one of the glass pieces like opaque. Um, so that like if someone's staying in there, you can close it, but you can also have it on year round and put it at like whatever temperature you want, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's see what, let, let's see the art that Nick decided to put on the fridge. Let's check it out. Okay, good one. Where are we here? This is, Mexico. this one's Mexico. Or Playa Carmen, this is Playa del Carmen, but the other one. I haven't done my hair like that for a while. I actually was gonna do that the other day. This was in Nashville. <laughs> that was in Mexico. Mexico, oh my gosh, look at my boobs, you guys. Look at my non-boobs. And then we got little Panchita right here. We are recreating one of our old pictures right here. <laughs> Trying to figure out where everything is is crazy because like this doorway is now the entrance to our pantry. Um, Oh, sorry, you had a ball up here so she would look. <laughs> Let me see if I can balance it, there we go. Closer to us. Yeah. 
So, fun fact, um, before I was 21, I actually bought her ID off her, and that's what I used at bars to get in. She's really, really deep throat, Matt. Good, I'm glad you're practicing. Good for you. Where we ended up at again. And we get to see these people two days in a row. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the pups. Just, just, are playing. Are we going to be like, oh, famous sorry. on your Here. blog or something? Yeah, you're famous on my blog right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pups are playing. This is Atlas. His little tooth just fell out a second ago. Good morning. It is Sunday. I slept in for what felt like forever. Then I looked at the clock and it was only 8.30. <laughs> um, we had such a good day yesterday. We ended up going to a little um, spot by the water, an ocean side after the beach. Um, Nick went to work this morning. I'm making breakfast. I just walked three miles as well, and I'm drinking raspberry leaf tea right now. Um, and I've been drinking nettle leaf tea. I just got them yesterday, so in a minute I'll talk to you a little bit about that and show those to you. So if you're pregnant, um, apparently they're freaking awesome and do a lot of great things. So, and I just learned about them. So, I'm gonna make some little egg breakfast tacos right now. So I'm gonna go outside and cut some cilantro because my cilantro and my parsley and my shard are kind of the only things in my garden that have like actually survived the winter. So let's go outside. I'll pick some of that fresh ass cilantro for my uh, tacos. Oh, cilantro is so good. Are you one of those people that feels like cilantro is like, tastes like soap or do you love it? I feel like there's no in between. Check out the cooking setup right now, okay? I'm actually cooking inside the house. Nick last night made me the most delicious quesadilla in the world. It was actually really cute because I was like, you know what I want? If I could snap my fingers, I want a quesadilla. No, you guys can't come, sweetie. I was like, if I could snap my fingers right now, I would want a quesadilla with freaking avocado inside of it. And he's like, I'll make it right now for you. And I was like, oh, my dream man. Hey, Jose, how's it going? Hi. How are you doing? Good. Oh, this looks awesome. Thank you. I moved the wood that way. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, that's great. That looks way better. I rigged it up and I kind of fixed it here. Thank you. No, that looks awesome. Okay. No, that's. I'm my way around. Perfect, awesome, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, this looks way better, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> These are obviously, <laughs> we'll sort those out in uh, whatchamacallit spring, but look at my parsley, look at my cilantro, my shard. So we're gonna cut some of this. This is really hard to do one-handed. <laughs> that should be enough. We'll cut some for the rabbits in a little bit too. Food's almost done. Um, Jose is our gardener. He is freaking awesome. And that just reminded me that I need to send him our baby shower invite. Um, I don't know how we got so lucky with Jose. <laughs> like I was on the app next door and found him on there and he was looking to pick up some extra work and we have three acres. So it worked out really well. And he's just like such a cool, like genuine guy, you know? Um, and he's like covered in tattoos. And so I'm sure when he showed up his first day here, he was like <laughs> relieved that like, I also have tons of tattoos because I feel like, I'm not, I feel like people with a lot of tattoos get judged a lot, um, especially men, you know? So uh, I appreciate that we both have tattoos and like, he's just like the nicest guy. So I'm excited to invite him. Hopefully he and his wife can make it. Um, and yeah, I'm so hungry, so let's go ahead <laughs> and uh, uh, eat. I'm gonna stop vlogging for a second, eat my food, and then uh, we'll see what we're gonna get into today. Look at this pile. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to show these to you guys. Um, Julie, the owner of Precious Pompous, Pompous means booty in Spanish, she said, 
Uh, I did not double check that, but I'm taking her word for it. <laughs> she sent me these, um, these are cloth diapers basically. And they, everything is like Spanish themed, which I love. Um, obviously Nick loves it too. So what you do is you, there are little pads that you put down in here to soak up the moisture. And because these have all of these buttons, you're pretty much able to wear these, um, or your baby is able to wear these for a long time because you can kind of move these around. These uh, I think might be slightly too big for a brand new newborn, but soon enough, I think she'll fit in these. The designs are <laughs> so flipping cute. This is like little pinatas. We've got little Cheetos. We've got Pulperindo, which is like one of my favorite candies. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for sending all of these to me. They are so freaking cute. <laughs> I love them. And Nick is obviously obsessed too. Check, check this one out. <laughs> so flipping cute. Oh my goodness, I just had a very large salad. I've been kind of like just working, doing dishes, gro groceries, I mean laundry all day today. Um, but I wanted to come back and talk to you about the teas because I'm about to make myself another one. So I want to talk to you about both of these. I'll link you guys to these in the description box below. I grabbed like the cheapest one I could find on Amazon that was like organic and still like good. So this one is the organic um, raspberry leaf tea bags. And it's like, you get a bunch of tea bags in here. Uh, you'll have a hundred. So um, I wanted to read to you right off this. I was gonna paraphrase it, but I don't wanna get it wrong. So this is just from research that I've saw, I've seen online. So like obviously talk to your doctor before you're taking any teas or doing anything. Um, never take advice straight from a YouTube video when it comes to your body or your baby's body. Like always do your own research, obviously. But. Um, first I heard this on Built to Birth, her um, course. <sighs> Joseph, now you're sitting on the table. I just shooed this cat off the counter. You're not allowed on the tables or the counters. Joseph, Joseph, don't ignore me. Yeah, I'm over here. Hey, you're not allowed on the table. Get down. All right, we'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> it says raspberry prevents miscarriage and hemorrhage, decreases morning sickness and reduces pain and labor by toning the muscles of the uterus. And then the other one I got oh, was nettle leaf tea, this guy. And for that one, it says nettle has more chlorophyll than any other herb along with vitamin A, C, D, and K, calcium, potassium, phosphorus, and iron. Nettle is particularly beneficial for leg cramps. I wish I would have known this when I was having those. I haven't had them for a while, knock on wood. And other muscle spasms because of the high cons high calcium content. The vitamins in nettle increase the iron in the blood and reduce the risk of hemorrhage. It also strengthens the blood vessels, which reduces the risk of hemorrhoids and increases the amount of breast milk a mother produces. Um, and then they're recommending different, I'll link you guys to this website too and a couple others that have information on this, but you can just Google it and talk to your doctor if you want. But it basically says that ra red raspberry and nettle are considered to be nourishing herbs. They are the safest category of herbs and can be used for extended periods of time and large amounts safely. Um, they nourish and replenish the body, particularly in the kidneys, liver, and adrenals. Red raspberry contains vitamins and minerals such as C, E, and A, and B complex, calcium, iron, phosphorus, and potassium, which are all really good things if you are pregnant or trying to become pregnant. Oh, gosh, I'm losing my breath. Um, one of my friends told me the other day that she's pregnant. I'm so excited to be pregnant with her. Unfortunately, she lives in a different state, but she, this is her second pregnancy. And she was telling me that her first one with her boy, with her son, she like never lost her breath because he sat so low. And with this one, she doesn't know if it's a male or a female yet, but she said she thinks it's a girl because it's sitting super high um, and she's like losing her breath like crazy. And I am in the same boat. I'm like, lo I lose my breath like just by talking. <laughs> so it's kind of insane. But do you guys know if that's like a real thing? Cause I keep hearing that that's kind of like a wives tale that if you're carrying higher, it's a girl. My Apple watch is going insane, but I just wanted to show you guys also. Um, can you see how well I'm doing on my rings right there today? Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I was planning on getting more of a workout in today, but I am like so bloated feeling right now. Like it is like, just take a look at this. Like <laughs> I feel so bloated. Oh, 
it kind of hurts up here. Well, that's it for this week's vlog, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully you're enjoying the vlogs. I'm actually really enjoying making them. It's fun. Um, hyper, look at this dog. What are you doing? What's he doing? <laughs> Your little tail starts to wag, Oh. Oh, we will see you in Thursday's video, you guys. And just a reminder, um, if you didn't know, I have a podcast with a couple of girlfriends of mine. I'll link that for you guys below as well. And a new episode of that came out today also. So it's on YouTube and uh, I almost said Audible <laughs> and Spotify and all that. So obviously I need to get some sleep right now. I, I'm like really tired. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.